Okay, I think I'm to the point where I'm going to go ahead and try mounting this uh, radiator. Uh, Summit brand. Got a few fittings here and there, or whatever. Let's see if we can get this thing to fit. Alright, we're going to make this just a test fit. My battery's about to go dead. So, let's see, see how it fits in here. As soon as I get all these damn spider webs and shit up there. Cool. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see if it clears this uh, power steering. Huh. Not that anywhere like that was. Well, not too fond of that. Let's see if I can. Okay, one thing, one thing I didn't care for, I got this thing thrown on its side right now just to show you. This uh, rubber isolator on the bottom, this is a stock. You can see it was just hitting like that. Throws it in, kicks the whole top end out, probably more than it should. It's actually makes it sit up higher than I think it should. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try shaving off this little double hump right here, this little hump right here. Shave this off, see if it can get a little more, a little more level. We'll, we'll see what, see how it sits then. All right, so this is what the, uh, this is what I was talking about, them rubber isolators at the bottom. They peaked a lot higher. I've already snipped this little middle section right here. Might be able to see the clean spot. That's where I cut it. Uh, I do have some more rubber, just flat. It's a little bit thinner than this, but I want to try using this stuff because it's a little more dense. It's a little harder. So we'll see. See how it goes. Hopefully, this radiator doesn't hit this. Uh, this little hump. All right. So this is the uh, power steering. A little cooler that I was trying to explain that I kind of missed. But, uh, the video doesn't really show it that well, but I'm about two inches away, so. This right here is what I'm not too fond of. See how it kicks way out? Now, granted, I know it's because of that right there. The uh, hitting right there, so. Well, it's hitting there. Hitting right there. So I don't know, maybe I need to uh, trim this upper lip a little bit. I got plenty of room on this side as far as left or right. Uh, see right here, I got plenty of room. I don't want to get too far over. I, I get too far over, this neck is going to be over here, which hopefully it doesn't start hitting it's going to eventually go there is my target so try to stay as far away from these right here as we can so that's what it looks like i'll have to think about it but i'm not really too keen on it sticking that far out I might go ahead and try pulling those stock insulators out, rubber pads out. If I put in that softer rubber pad that I have in there, maybe it'll sit lower. I don't know, it's sitting pretty low as it is. I mean, I can just barely get my finger up under, these, under the lip here. All 
all right so i'm back to the same point i was yesterday um i got a serious lean to this thing i can't can't tell if the camera really picks it up or not but uh <clears throat> i've tried it with the stock rubber insulators there cradles down at the bottom and i've got some other um rubber strapping that i picked up uh, not quite as dense but it's i was hoping it's a little bit thinner but uh yeah it's 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 the same way no no real change ultimately what it is is just too tall uh, so either a i can ship this thing back and say i got the wrong size and put the dime on that and get a whole new one or i can just go ahead and start doing some trimming which is what i'm really look, looking forward to doing i was trying to be sarcastic uh so what i think i'll do is start off with baby steps and take it right along this rust line uh, that's about so that would make it about an inch and a actually it'd be an inch and a quarter of material being cut off um, start baby steps like I said right there more or less it'd be right to that that ridge that lip uh, cut right there all the way across I might do a little more cutting right here just to make room for this weld we'll see uh, All right, so I cut off that little bit. Uh, it does look like it's, it does look like it's helped some. Obviously, it ain't gonna make it no worse, but uh, it's still, I mean, I went into saying baby steps, small bit at a time, so that's what I'm gonna do did that first cut i'm gonna make another cut and this time what i think the only thing hitting is this right here you can see this is a it's got double metal up in there and what it's hitting is the bottom piece uh, so i'm just gonna go ahead and make a second cut this is the only thing hitting holding it out i got a half inch here so what i'm gonna do is cut a I'll probably come right to this little thing just to make it kind of symmetrical. Come out here a half inch and cut all the way, all the way down. Um, now I don't want this lip hitting the coils. So remember, I got a half inch gap here. I cut a half inch here. I'm still going to end up either A, putting some of that rubber matting in there to keep metal from metal contact or whenever I make brackets up to hold this top, I'll just measure it so that it's it's not metal on metal. I'll, uh, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. So that's what I'll do. I'll make a make another little notch here on both, in, both sides. All right, did some more little cutting there. Notched out this part, same with the other side. Yeah, pay pay no attention to the little bugger cuts there. I'll I'll take a flap wheel and clean it up. So next I gotta do is make some brackets to hold this thing in place. I don't know if I'm gonna need anything on the bottom yet or not. I get this top fastened down tight, then uh, we'll see what it looks like then. I was sitting here looking at it and I was like, well, I mean, I could always cut more, cut more, cut more and get this thing to, you know, slowly peel up some. I got to look and I was like, I wonder how far I can actually start tilting up 
before it intersects my hood line up there. So I, of course I took my, my trusty little measuring tool here, laid it on here. If you look, I got clearance there, right here. Right there is hitting, so. Now the hood does, obviously it goes up in the center some. We should be good, we'll see. I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But there's no sense in tempting fate, so I'm gonna, that's about as far vertical as I'm gonna get this thing. We'll, uh, I think we're gonna call that good enough. All right, so we're back. I think where we left off last time is I ended up hacking apart the front of this uh, core support for the radiator just to try to get it to sit a little more vertical. Uh, all I've got right now is obviously I got a ratchet strap holding it in place, but just now sitting on the rubber isolators at the bottom. Um, I've got so many different things going on right now. Uh, I'll, I'll just blaze through them real quick just give you a recap radiator got a new radiator put it in hacked up the uh, the front core support gonna try to make some brackets in fact I've already just cut a little piece of aluminum rather thick piece of eighth inch but I'm gonna see about making some brackets out of that put two of them up top just hold it in place and we'll see if I'm gonna need to make one for the bottom Another uh, little project I got for half, halfway done with something is uh, the old heater box here. It was a AC unit. Had the uh, little AC condenser in there and everything, a fan. Well, long story short, I'm doing away with the AC. So I got the new box that does away with the uh, new heater box that does away with the AC condenser and uh, as the eBay find they say it worked with stock motor stock fan just does away with the, the little radiator the cooling coils well that's proving not to be correct uh, stock fan does not work I guess the AC fans are bigger than these uh than the ones without AC so far yet I've been in contact with the seller seller says he's gonna go ahead and just send me an, a replacement fan Move on down to the uh, transmission. Got a cross member. Finally got a cross member and a uh, the uh, torque arm uh, online purchase. Uh, been going round and round with that guy as well. Actually, I haven't been going round and round. He's been very helpful. The problem I've had with him is it's very difficult to get a hold of. Uh, finally, ended up he just finally gave me his cell number. I've been texting him. Turns out he forgot to send me a piece, so he sent me the other piece, and I still had questions on the, the um, installation. Uh, long story, he recommended I had to get a different cross member, or excuse me, a different transmission mount. All right, got a little bracket made, nothing fancy. Just, uh, I don't know, it was about an inch and a half, maybe two inches, I don't remember bend the 90 over there just beat it with a hammer and in a vise uh there it's almost a perfect little uh angle there for this lip so uh, i figured what i'm going to do is go ahead and drill one hole right here and uh put one right in the middle this actually gives me an excuse to go go out and buy one of those uh one of those pop rivet tools that you know you can have a fire, I can't even remember what it's called now. I was just thinking about it, what it's called, where you, it's like a pop rivet tool where you, nut zerts, zert, something, nut zerts, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, I'll go ahead and drill and put one of those nut zerts or whatever the hell it's called in there. Do the same thing on this little bracket. And then, uh, it's got a nice gap in there right now. So that should hold it. 
And another thing I'm thinking about doing another thing I'm thinking about doing is uh, maybe taking some more of that rubber insulator and put it right in that in the lip right here. I'll do that after I do all my drilling and my threading and everything, make sure that everything's right where I want it. Then when I put this rubber on there, I'll actually have to push down that way it gets good pressure on the bottom of this. That should really cinch it down. Hopefully it'll keep it from moving anywheres. Alright, so I don't know if I mentioned it last time, but now I'm really done mounting the radiator. Went and got one of those uh, special tools I was trying to explain. It's actually called a riv nut. And all it does is put a... Uh, a rivet in there but the rivets have uh threads this one just happens to be a quarter by 20. So, oh where is it there it is so that's it right there i'm actually going to get i didn't have any bolts i'm going to go get some bolts and uh lock washer but uh that's all i had right now but Give me a, a bolt lock washer and I'm actually going to go ahead and take this back off and I'm going to give, give me a little more clearance right there. I don't like how close it is, at least somewhere about halfway here. After that, it the gap's good enough um, <laughs> until I find out it's not, but cool. I'm done. I mean it this time.